Father, through the growth of your word in our lives, let mankind begin to benefit. Let your word so grow in my life that humans all around the world begin to benefit. Begin to find rest. Men are comforted through the growth of your word in my life. Father, you have saved me. Harapusoya save the world through your saving grace in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Because Jesus saved you through his saving grace upon your life. Men shall be saved in the name of Jesus. Men, because Jesus has given you rest, men, we have rest through you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus has given you rest, men, we have rest through you spiritually in the name of Jesus. Men, we have rest through you financially in the name of Jesus. Men, we have through you, through you. Maritally in the name of Jesus. Men, we have to rest through you physically in the name of Jesus. Men shall begin to have rest through the manifestation of the word of God in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word of God is a seed. You heard the word of God. That was why we, you turned to him. Now that you have, you have turned to him, it is the onus is on you now. To begin to turn others to him. How will you be able to turn others to him when you remain in sin? When you are committing secret sins? How will you be able, how will grace of God upon your life turn people to Jesus? You can do so many miracles. You can wrought miracles. You can pray to for people and things happen. And your life is still not influencing people to turn to Jesus. Your life can be influencing people to turn to you particularly, but your life is not influencing people to turn to Jesus. The ultimate is to is for your life to transform other people's life to turn to Jesus genuinely, follow him, have a Christ life style, a Christ like lifestyle. Why? We have been created in the image and the likeness of Christ. The ultimate of giving our life to Christ is to become like him. Like I said the other time, Jesus never preached success. He never preached prosperity. Jesus never preached healing. He did healing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus preached love. He preached humility. Those are the things he preached. Love, humility. In love, you see it in love. It is compassion. It is love that will bring about you having compassion on people. And from compassion, your, the compassion will steer the gift in you to heal people. The gift of healing in you. The compassion the love you have out of compassion. We steer the spirit of healing in you to heal others. So please today, let the word of God grow. Give the word of God chance, chance to grow in your life. Release your life totally. If you are watching me now and you have given your life to Christ, even if you are vaccinated, come back to him. Release your heart, your life to him. Let Jesus work on you. Let the finished work of the cross be finished in your life in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let the finished work of the cross be finished every sin and trespasses in your life. Allow the, the work of the cross to, to be a crossroad for Satan in your life. Uh, your, your life became a crossroad where Satan you are giving so Satan no room. That every room that is still I pray for you that every room that is still in your life that is reserved for the devil that you don't know that the devil is still having an occasion to afflict you through that, through that room. Whatever room 
that have been created from the devil.